Hey everybody, it's Steve, and I want to show you my new Sheds 3-in-1 Gobo light. It's a 160 watt moving head with a whole lot of features, including the ability to zoom, a frost function that gives you a really nice wash effect, two different Gobo wheels, a prism effect, and even more. In this video, I want to first unbox one, show you its features, and then go through each of its functions and show you how you can combine all of the different effects to create some amazing looks, especially when you have two of them working together. This is a large light. It's in a pretty large box. Let's see what's inside. Have the instruction manual, DMX cable, power con cable, Two mounting brackets. Let's see. Let's turn this over and get it out. And there's the light. This guy weighs in at about 16 and a half pounds and is just under 17 inches tall. Its light source is a single 160 watt white LED cooled by this fan on the back. And on the back of the base, there's standard DMX in and out jacks, power con in and out jacks, so you can daisy chain your power cables, an on off switch and a panel mount fuse. On the front, there's a color LCD display menu navigation buttons, and these two DMX and error indicator lights. There's a set of cooling fans in the base, along with these handles on the sides. And on the bottom, rubber feet for setting it on your totem, or you can use these brackets that mount to these screws if you want to hang it on a stand or truss. It's pretty easy to navigate through the different menus with this circular keypad. And this startup page displays the DMX starting address. And you can also invert the display. And you can change the language from English to Chinese, and then back to English. There's also a reset function. And then when you go to the first set menu page, here, you can set different run modes. So it's in DMX mode now, but you can put it in an auto mode. You can put it in a mode that's called random. And then you can put it in a sound active mode. Here you can set the DMX starting address up and down. This channel mode you cannot set. It says 18 channel, but it's actually a 17 channel fixture. And then there's a variety of other functions, such as you can set the microphone sensitivity here. You can invert the pan and tilt, swap the pan and tilt, and uh, there's some other uh, more advanced functions. In this menu, you can actually go in and manually adjust each one of the parameters. So I can go in here and manually adjust the tilt. And here, this page has system functions like monitoring the LED temperature and hours. This page requires a password to enter and it allows some advanced recalibration. As I mentioned, this light has a lot of different tricks up its sleeve. So let's take a look at what it can do by going through its 17 DMX channels. And I'm going to be controlling it using an app on my iPad called Vibrio. So channel one is the master dimmer brighter at the higher values. We'll leave it set there. Channel two is a strobing effect. 
slower strobing at the lower values, faster strobing at the high values. Channel 3 is pan. Channel 4 is tilt. Channel 5 is pan and tilt speed. So when you go to the real high values, you have a much slower pan and tilt speed. Channel 6 controls the color wheel, and you can choose from 10 different colors at the lower values, and then 10 different color splits as you increase the values. And then as the values get higher, you can rotate through those different colors from slow to fast at the highest values. Channel 7 controls the first gobo wheel. There's nine different patterns on the first wheel. And then you can rotate through those different patterns, uh, clockwise and counterclockwise, from slow to fast. And then at the very highest values, you can shake each one of these patterns. Channel 8 controls the second gobo wheel where there's six different patterns. Now I have to jump ahead and focus. So I bring this into focus. We'll go back to the second wheel. Six different patterns. And just like on the first gobo wheel, you can cycle through those at different speeds, slow to fast, and you can also shake each one. Now let's pick one of these gobos. We'll pick this one. On channel nine, you can actually spin this to a different set position, depending on the value, or you can spin it around both clockwise at different speeds and counterclockwise. See, I'll just leave this one spinning. And then channel 10 has a six phase prism effect. So we'll put that on. And then on channel 11, you can control the rotation of that prism into set position and then different rotation speeds in different directions. And let's see, I'm going to turn the prism off and I'm going to go back to just this solid white. Channel 12 has a frost effect and when you turn that on you effectively have a nice wash light with a really soft edge. We'll turn that back off. Channel 13 and 14 are a zoom and focus function, and they kind of work together. Let's put another pattern on. So let's see, we'll put this pattern on, and you can see that the zoom and the focus work together to zoom and focus. Then channel 15 is a fine pan, channel 16 a fine tilt, and channel 17 in the lowest values you're under DMX control, but then in the higher values it goes into auto function, which is cool, and in the highest values it's in sound active mode. And of course, the great thing about having all these effects at your fingertips is that you can just start combining them in all different ways.
This flight really packs a lot of features into one unit. And as of August 2022, you can get one for $379 with free shipping to the US. Here's just a little sample of what you can do with two of them on a small stage. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.